Okay, we're gonna play spot, spot the problem today. Uh, doing a yearly inspection, PM, make sure everything's good on the spark lift. So, I operate the whole machine. Your finger keeps on going away. And I found a problem. The problem with this spark lift is that, uh, you'll see in a minute, but we're luck I'm lucky it's gonna very small warehouse where they don't do too much loads and i guess it's working for what they do because it's been about three years at the site and they haven't complained about it so if they ain't complaining i probably won't say nothing but psa pay attention to what you're doing to the attachments you all know that up down tilt back forth should be side shift left to right then fork position on this bozoni attachment <laughs> up down works tilt forward and tilt back works fork positions they work now Hit this lever all the way to the left. You can see it sticks out a whole lot. Now, if we come to this other side and go the other way, that's it. Now, what happened here is during installation of the attachment, Whoever did it, I don't know who did it. They did not correctly center center the attachment beforehand. They had it offset and they never recalibrated it, picking it up, taking it off the attachment, doing whatever. Or also what could have happened. Picking it up. What can happen or what does happen pretty often and people don't really pay much attention is that there's a shim finger keeps going away. That there's a, this shim right here. It shifts, it moves during installation and cannot sometimes it gets off centered. So yeah. So like I said, since it's been three years on the job site, I'm not just gonna just gonna see like, you know, go up to the customer and be like, hey. Your attachment hasn't been right forever. You should have said something. How come you never said nothing? Instead, I'm uh, I'm just gonna, you know, poke questions and see if they have any complaints about the forklift. Like, how's the operations? How nimble is it? Uh, is it getting the job you need done? You know, stuff, stuff to pick around it. And then you could throw it off to be like, yeah, okay, well, let me check out your issue if, that you have one, complaining that it's not moving correctly or, if it's jumping and skipping, you know, all that stuff. Uh, safety glasses on today. <laughs> uh, but I'm not, I'm not gonna bluntly say, oh, your attachment's been installed wrong for 30 years and no one said nothing to you. Good job. You know, cause then it's gonna get thrown back at, uh, us. Because this is a leased forklift brand new lease forklift that they've been having for three years like i said i, I just don't i don't want to throw somebody under the bus it could have been a bad monday bad friday who knows but whatever the case is that the shim was not correctly installed and then the attachment sits on the shim and they didn't correctly test the unit to see exactly how it works uh so psa pay attention to how you install the attachments that's the bazoni aftermarket it's not from Yale, so someone had to install it from us. So, stay aware.